What a lovely morning it is. Da, 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 da. Wait. What's that sound? Oh my god! Okay. So. You did a boo boo on your server. You want to reset your Minecraft server world. Oh, well, congratulations. Today we're going to learn how to reset your Minecraft server's world. Let's go ahead and get started. Alright. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and exit our game. And we're going to go to our Minecraft server control panel. Now, this is the panel that is um that is running your Minecraft server. It could be Multicraft, Prodactyl, I'm not sure what host you guys are using, but you guys would just simply navigate to your Minecraft server control panel. For me here, I have Multicraft with um, Aquatus, my company. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and stop the Minecraft server. Reason being, we don't want it to overwrite any changes we do while, um, while we're working, so you're gonna make sure it's off. So I'm gonna go ahead and click stop. Make sure you guys shut down your server. And make sure you confirm it is fully off. It's gonna for us it'll show a red circle. Perfect. Now what we're doing, we're gonna navigate to files and FTP file access. Now, before we do that, I want to show you guys something. So I'm gonna scroll down, show advanced settings. I'm gonna go ahead and click this. As you guys can see here, world, the world name, it's NLP world. I'm going to copy this and make a sticky note for us so we can reference this later. So the world name, it's world. And then you'll understand why this is important. So I'm going to go ahead, log in FTP file access, put in my password so I'll see you guys on the other side, and we're here in our FTP directory. So as you can see here, we have a directory named world, world underscore nether, and world underscore the underscore end. Now, doesn't this look familiar? It does. Because our world name is going to be world. And if you guys have eyeballs, you guys can see there's a correlation. So, what does this mean? All your world data for the overworld, aka where it's grass, trees, cows, things like that, is going to be here. The nether, so world, so the, um, the server, world, Underscore nether, this is where all your nether data is. And then world underscore the underscore end. What do you guys think it is? The end. You guys are awesome. Anyways. So, there's two things we can do here. We can either go to Multicraft here and rename the world to something else. Let's say world 2. What it's going to do is going to regenerate um, the world files, but it's going to name it world Two. World 2 underscore the nether, world 2 underscore the underscore end. However, it's not going to overwrite these. Please keep that in mind. We can do that. Or let's say you want to keep one of your worlds, or both worlds. Let's say you want to keep the nether and the end, but you don't want the world file anymore. But you still want to save it. Because you know, I did a little emotional damage earlier. So, I'm going to show you guys both methods. One, of um let's say you want to keep some worlds and then um there's that method or you just want to delete everything and start fresh now what i always recommend to people you can always rename your world files here to something else just in case you need to access that data for some reason maybe you figured out there was a secret ender chest somewhere with all your valuables we don't know that's why i always tell people try to rename your world files first so i destroyed the world and the big boob would spawn I'm too lazy to fix all that. So what I'm gonna do, I don't want to save this anymore. I don't want this, I don't want Multicraft to use this world. But I still wanna keep the the nether and the end. So what I'm gonna do, I'm only gonna modify the world directory. So I'm gonna go here, click the check mark, rename. And I can rename this to let's say world underscore or world the one I broke. Go ahead and click submit. As you can see, Multicraft actually changed the world name, the directory name, to the world, the one I broke. Now, we saw this the same, this is same. We're not going to be regenerating these worlds. Why? Because when Multicraft starts, it's just like, okay, this is the world name. I'm going to look for the directory name world. It's going to look around. Oh, nope. I can't find a directory just named world. I'm going to regenerate the world for them. But it's going to go to the next one. Let's say they have world nether. It's gonna see world underscore nether. Oh, the directory's there. It's gonna look in it obviously. See all the data for the world, all that. 
He's like, oh, all it is here. Oops. It's easy. Oh, yeah. All the data is here. We're good to go. Same thing for the end. Just going to check it. Oh, world underscore the end. It's all good. So, we can do that. But let's say you don't even want the world anymore and you want to delete it. All you guys would do? Click the directory you don't want anymore. Let's say I don't want the end for some reason. Because let's say um, I just don't like the layout or whatever. You go ahead and click it and click delete. What's going to do? It's going to erase everything permanently again i always tell people rename the world directory to something else so now when the multi server starts it's going to find it's not going to find the world folder so it's going to um, regenerate it it's not going to find another folder because we deleted it but it's going to find the end folder which is right here now again i always tell people to rename it because let's say if we did forget something you still have the data right here and you can always change it back to the world name or whatever is your world name. So we're done here. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this. I'm gonna go ahead and start the server again. So I'm gonna jump into the console really quickly. Yes. As you guys here see here, now it's preparing the world. It's generating it for you guys. And it's gonna do the same exact thing for the nether, but not for the end. Again. The data's already there, no need to. All right, so it's all done. Now we're gonna go back to our FTP and you may notice something different. As you guys can see here, look, the world, it got regenerated. The nether got regenerated. The world, the end, still there. And the one I still renamed originally, my original overworld folder, it's still there. Again, just in case I need any data. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna join back in the server. As you guys can see here, now I'm in a desert. I'm not in the um, pit hole because I actually set in a trap or anything. And guys, that's it. That's how easy it is. So congratulations, you did it. All right guys, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I hope this um, tutorial helped you in some shape, way or form. As always, thank you guys for watching this video. I really do appreciate your help and support. And as always, Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.